So uh, this uh, lab I learned in Buffalo State University, I think from Lowell Sylvester, so I think he's the creator of this. Anyway, the puzzler is uh, we have an action-reaction platform here with a stretched rubber band held back with a string, and we're going to burn that string with a, uh, by lighting the match. We're going to put the ball uh, in here, and then we're going to do the same thing again and shoot it again, but this time with a metal ball. And so the question is, which one, uh, where will the, which one will have more recoil, uh, with the wooden ball or with the metal ball? So let's uh, load this up and see what happens. Ready? Nice. Well, so the, the answer is that uh, when you have a, a heavier ball in there, you get more recoil. So the, the question is, and, and uh, pose it to the students of, uh, can we predict this? How do we predict this? How do we, what are the variables that we have to deal with? Uh, how do we isolate those variables and how do we understand the problem? So uh, that's for them to do. <laughs> so well, we've already tried to do it over here, right? Yes, on the, on the board we have our solution. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not trivial. Not trivial, but, uh, you know, we came up with some analogies like standing on roller skates and pushing against a, uh, a brick wall or standing on roller skates and pushing a little kid. <laughs> it's sort of, uh, you can kind of think about the, the reaction that would happen to you. So this is just a high strength fishing line. It's a, a, like a thread. Uh, this is some masonite, mm -hmm. uh, just. Uh, screws and nuts on the bottom side. I just uh, drilled holes for the bolts and they put a uh, washer in there to reduce the stress on the wood uh, and a clothespin. So this is pretty pretty basic. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, the balls. Uh, this one is just a sort of a generic steel ball bearing, and this came from a craft supply store. Uh -huh. uh, and I chose these just because they're approximately the same diameter so that they would shoot in a similar sure. manner. So uh, on the computer, we uh, were able to load the videos in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and from here, we can actually uh, track it. So we'd be able to watch the video uh, and then actually track its motion using this uh, tracking software, uh, Logger Pro. I think there's some other ones, a free one online if you wanted. Mm -hmm. uh, this made it simple to sort of actually put numbers onto the problem. Oh, uh, it appeals to certain aspects or to certain students in terms of a, a film aesthetic, getting the lighting right. And uh, so yeah, it definitely uh, interests, uh, you know, grabs attention of some students that maybe otherwise would be a little bit uh, withdrawn from the activity. So uh, lots of different things to do in terms of taking data, setting it up, analyzing the data, videotaping. Mm -hmm. uh, it really has, uh, I think it's a pretty engaging lab activity and that's, uh, what we're aiming to do is to engage students in science, so hopefully this will do it. <laughs>